Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial from me here, Ghost Tricks D. And today we're gonna do the entire Corrector Files uh, texture replacement tutorial, uh, what I used to do on my other YouTube, which is currently outdated. So, to know, first of all, to start off right off the bat, there's a whole new change in this. So, first, this used to be in Shit as is True, which is still a thing, but only for the main characters. The caps and the heads aren't Shit as is True. So you want to make sure that's always correctly uh, before you, you know, obviously change your stuff. So hats, shit as is true, normal stuff, and uh, resource assets. So for now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, actually I already downloaded the mod. I downloaded the CHP mod pack for me with all the uniforms. So this is what we're going to do today to make it a little bit, a little bit you know, simple. Um, so we start off with asset unit, uh, asset bundle tractor. So first, I'm going to import the uniforms. Um, so I'm just going to finalize data resource remote. These uniforms are all and resource assets. The heads shared assets true at this time. Uh, if you want, if you're never sure, always check this. This one's up to date, twenty four seven. We have an entire team to make sure this is updated. Uh, so you know if you never if you're unsure then get them get the uh, names from here to give you a little bit more information uh, female pads male oh, female pads and male pads there's also a vest version which is basically this version but then with a little bit of a vest texture added uh, it's not an actual model it's just a texture it's just an overlay so that's really how that works EMS same thing female male firefighter too and same here, the caps are for all uh, genders, so both male and female, so it doesn't matter which one you change. So that's that. So let's go ahead and start with changing corp 001 to entry. I'm just going to do the male versions for now, not going to go with anything big. Um, so let me start off with corp. So we can just type in corp 001, and there you go, you got them. So, you want to expand this. So you gotta watch out, yeah? You wanna go for these two mainly. Make sure it's always a texture file. Make sure. Yeah, texture 2D file. If you replace a material file, you can you can actually export that and edit that in Blender. And from there you can actually modify your characters. But that's not what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is the textures. So this one will be CHP Cop 001. And this one, uh, the, the, the vest version, which if you go to your car and you go back to the car and get your vest on, then that uh, texture, you know, comes. For uh, testing purposes, I'm going to show you how that kind of works. So I'm only going to replace this one. We're going to load. Uh, uniform, see, so yeah. Okay, and there you go. How easy. Um, let me do the second one a little bit slower. Uh, here, this one. So this is going to be COP002. Open, edit, load, 002, and OK. It's really easy. Uh, and then you can have the VESH version. And there you go, 002. OK. And then last one. You just want to simply do this one. Wait, make sure you do the always the right one. Here you go. I don't. I wasn't looking. So now, essentially, what you did is you changed all the male main uniforms, not the vest ones, with these characters. At least these three. Uh, for cops, easier true. I had a another texture. Well, yeah, you will see it in game. Um, so from that, that's all. That's all uniform wise. You can do this with any uniform. Actually, let me go back. Let me just use this one. You can use any uniform that's posted in here. Correct the textures. Whether it be this EMS file, whatever. Um, you can even do civilians too. So let's say, I mean, you can do this with every. You can also do it with these ones, which I didn't update. But essentially, you can replace all those textures with these. Really easy, really cool. I actually love this pack too. So that's that. So that's all the main uniforms. Let's go ahead and save this first. Save this on your desktop. 
and let's go ahead and add the hats so again you want to go on the post you want to always do I still have it? did I? there you go so here like I said campaign hat which I think I need to update that anyways uh, the 8 point police cap is like the f one of the first that's also you can change that campaign hat is the round one and then the two caps what you got is a white one and a black one I think I'm not sure you can change for both of these so this is really simple you go back to flash lights flash lights data uh, shit assets true and then go to name you want to make sure that and then you just press cap and there you go EMS fire and police really easy thank you Niels for making it that easy <laughs> so you want to go to edit load uniforms that's the this one so that's the black CHP version which Leo made uh, and then plugins for the second one the brown one and there you go okay and that's all you want to save this on your desktop there you go that's literally all you have to do you refresh this data simply drag and drop these in there and there you go you're done now let's start off flashing lights and check out these mods all right guys we're in game and you can already see there you go hats work fine that's all like there you go you can have the super cool chp fast version you have the traffic version which is a little bit buggy with the badge but hey that's all you're gonna get actually i mean patrol i really like the vest and then you have the third guy with the chp vest really cool huh so let's go ahead and load this guy in uh, wait it was the first guy right uh so we're loading the sergeant <laughs> Let's go ahead and load them in. So I will, I will show you guys what's gonna happen if you don't edit the vest version. There you go. So you can see, uh, CHP hat, really nice, pretty slick. Didn't get in the CHP vehicles. So you go to the back, you get your traffic vest. And then you can see it changes the entire uh, the vest. It's an actual texture, so that's why. Uh, so you wanna obviously, if you're a modder, that you pay, make both a normal and a vest version, or replace both of them, and you have the same. Or you just don't use the traffic version. Essentially, it doesn't have much change at all in the game, anyways. So that's that. Uh, that's actually that. So that's all. Let me actually get back to that. Actually, it's kind of it's basically done, isn't it? Alright, fuck it. Let's go ahead and exit the game. And that's basically how you change the character versions. Again, uh, I said in the other tutorial to make this sure this post, you bookmark it, whatever. Make sure you always check on it before you mark. This is all the correct locations, the most up to date locations from every uh, found, refined. Um, at least police, uh, EMS and services wise. Civilians we haven't looked into yet and all the stuff. But this has at least the main, uh, since the audience really wants mainly this stuff, it's what we've written down. Um, so that's that. Yeah, so make sure this location, you always look in this. You won't find the caps and resources. So if you try to find them in resources and you can't find them, then most likely you are checking in resource assets. Same otherwise. You will be able to find these files in shit assets true. But if you replace them in shit assets true, it will crash your game. So that's why you want to make sure that the correct resource assets, the caps, shit assets true. Uh, true. That's Dutch. Okay, interesting. So that's really it. It's really easy. Uh, nothing big, honestly. But that's that. Uh, so for, for that, that's basically the tutorial. That's all I can provide. Uh, I will link this in the description together with maybe... Oh yeah, I'll just link this. Uh, and FM mods, I will link this too. And then there you go, you can download some nice mods. Which I'm tempted to update this. Anyways, uh, same for this. It's really easy. Uh, if models are, are good with it, 
they will tell you which one is which for the texture files because you can edit the face too uh, if you do it will look really bad uh, for some reason so usually as models you don't really want to edit that but if you want make sure you name them cop one two or three that way people know like hey what's up because if they're gonna replace let's say the white guy with the black guy it's I, I haven't even tested it yet but I can just imagine how messed up that's gonna be so that's really that so that's that if there's any questions feel free to go on the forums and ask them in questions and we will answer either the community the staff or me we'll answer that as soon as we can uh, other than that uh, leave a like uh, subscribe and have a nice day